In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make any custom board supported in Squareline Studio. We call this feature Open Board Platform. Briefly, it means you can create a template project and a JSON descriptor file, copy them into a Squareline Studio folder, and voila, the board will appear in the board list of Squareline Studio, and you will be able to export projects for it. So let's get started. Firstly, we will need a project to get started with. I will use an STM32H7B3I discovery board, which already has a ready-to-use project hosted on LVGL's GitHub site. I will modify this project to make it Squareline Studio compatible. First, let's clone the project. Do not miss the Recurse Submodules flag to get the LVGL submodule too. Let's launch Cube IDE and import the project. Open a file and build the project. When it's ready, flash it to the board to be sure our initial project is working well. Now we will modify the project as it's described in Squareline Studio's documentation. Go to the Open Board Platform page. As you can see in the main folder of Squareline Studio, there is a boards folder. It can have subfolders, but in the end, a given board requires a zip, an SLB, and a PNG file. Let's check out an existing board as reference. Find where Squareline Studio is installed, and go to the boards folder. Here you can see some vendors. Let's see an Espresso board. Here we have the PNG, SLB, and zip files. In the zip file, on the top level, there should be a folder called UI Project Name. And inside it, the template project itself with all the drivers, initialization, main.c file, and so on. In the zip file, there should be a folder for the UI code too. So let's create a folder called UI in our project too. Its name and path doesn't really matter as we can configure it later. Now create a new folder for the Squareline Studio board. Copy our project into this new folder and add some modifications. We will zip this project folder later. First, rename the folder to UI Project Name. Now remove some folders that we don't need. For example, the Git folder, the Debug folder, and LVGL. LVGL will be added automatically by Squareline Studio during the export of the project. Now add a few modifications to main.c. We don't need the LVGL demos. Instead, let's include ui.h. ui.h will be exported in the UI folder that we've created. And instead of loading an LVGL demo, initialize the exported UI. When Squareline Studio exports the project, it can search and replace some texts with the actual values of the project and UI. We call these replaceable texts tags. In this project, we will use only the UI project name tag. Cube IDE stores the project's name in the .project file. Open it with a text editor and replace the current name with the tag. Add a README file too to the UI folder. Its only purpose is to be sure that the empty folder won't get lost during zipping. Finally, zip the project folder and our Squareline Studio template project is ready. Let's continue with adding an SLB file. SLB stands for Squareline Board. This is a JSON file, which describes some parameters of the project. In the documentation, there is an example SLB file. We will use it to get started. Change the group of the project. Change the title. Add some keywords. Set the resolution. Set that LVGL should be exported into the root folder. Set how LVGL needs to be included. Set in which files the tags should be replaced. Set that the UI needs to be exported into the UI folder. And finally, you can set a URL to the board's website and some descriptions for the board. As the last step, 
add a cover image. Be sure all three files and the folder have the same name. Now let's go back to the boards folder of Squareline Studio. Create a new folder for ST and copy our new board there. Launch Squareline Studio and we will have a new ST group and our board is listed there. Here we can check the parameters. Let's open an example which matches the resolution of the board. I chose the e-bike demo now. Try it out by clicking the play button. After that, open the project settings menu and change the target board of the project to our new board. Apply the changes and select Create Template Project from the Export menu. Browse a location for the project and check out the result. The folder is named correctly according to the project's name. We have an LVGL folder, but the UI folder is still empty. We need to export the UI files as a separate step. This way you can be sure that updating the UI won't mess up the whole project. And now the UI files are here too. Let's import the project into Cube IDE. We have the LVGL and UI folders with some content. Open main.c and check if our previous modifications are really there. If all looks good, build and flash the project. And this is the result. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to get notified about the new ones.